in ear, what we are looking for is the hearing of the patient, right? So we will be doing some simple test. Number is the whisper test. So I have to close the left, left ear, okay? And then I have to whisper something here, standing at like, almost like, I think this is 50 to 60 centimeters, right? You are the best. You are the best. Right, so you hear it, okay? And then I have to close this one. My mother-in-law is bad. <laughs> this is called as like, you know, whisper test, right? On the patient, right? So are they able to understand or not, right? Next we have is the Weber's test and Rene's test, right? It does two things for you guys, um, air conduction and the bone conduction, okay? Frequency of the sounds traveled through air, went into your ear, ear canal, okay? So this is like ear conduction, okay? Then it goes inside, it vibrates my eardrum, mm -hmm. and then three bones, malleus and cus tapes, mm -hmm. those vibrate, mm -hmm. and then it sends the signal inside to a round structure, which is called as cochlea or cochlea, mm -hmm. like some people they call it, okay? And so that is all internal, you know, conduction. And then later on, whatever cochlea hears, mm -hmm. it is transmitted via nerve. Which nerve is that? Auditory nerve, right? Auditory nerve transfers that signal to the brain and brain does the interpretation for you. You guys should know, air conduction should always be longer than bone conduction. See that? Mm -hmm. So this means her bone conduction should always be less than the air conduction, right?